Hi, good morning to Morning Corona Poems, brought to you today from Barking Park on this beautiful morning. If you listen, you can hear the birds and some very tame squirrels have just come up for a chat. Um, this morning's choice of poem uh, has come from the Imperial War Museum. Um, they're who I'm using as my source today. Um, in large part because they have released um, an, an unpublished uh, handwritten copy of the poet from the poet Edmund Blunden, who was one of the longest serving poets of the First World War. Um, he actually died in 1974, so the Imperial War Museum have decided to publish it today to mark the 75th anniversary of VE Day. Um, many of us know the war poets, um, and many didn't survive. But um, those that carried on writing poetry carried on for some time, and often they wrote uh, in the context of the Second World War also. Um, so today, this, this poem really, for me, tells of the underbelly. It's both positive, but it really speaks of Edmund Blunden's experiences at Ypres and Somme in the First World War. So the handwritten verses, it's called Victory Day. Victory Day. Now, the great vision that we dared believe through slow and savage years is all our own. That summit which we willed, we now achieve. Uncertainty deposes the unknown. Through dragon's country midnight, black we went, where one Apollyon had as much in mind and set whatever deaths he could invent, above, beneath, about, that lies behind. A widening wonder glitters on our view, that tyrannies our past. One more we have come through. Immense the scene, the drama measureless, which aftercomers with astonished eyes will long survey and struggle to express. The problem huge, the countering enterprise. When time makes plain the action in all parts, discloses things in crisis as yet hid. Then will the world, with eloquence of ants, forever crown what these free spirits did. We may not voice them yet, the dawn's still new. But we live triumph now, no artist ever drew. To trace the roads which led us to this hour, history shall be proud and honour fill her halls with colours. Let those bright works flower in their due season. We are mindful still of yesternight's red shadows and fierce toil, of this man's death and that man's masterstroke, of years turned ages on an alien soil, of fiery horrors, whelming patient folk, of weapon craft beyond what they knew, blastings, soul witherings, hungers, eyes of death on you. And from the distance, from far sunderer lands, come men and women leaving all they had into the battlefields of scorching sands. And houseless waste, and plains obscure and sad, for nothing that should be a personal gain, but to endure the best should still prevail. The sky was flashing with their quick disdain of danger. <laughs> Under sea, they would assail the creed they counted worse than death. Their crew swept the broad sea till nothing showed there to pursue. These in their multitude and more than these, dying and suffering, companied alone. Their faces, voices, humours, tragedies, their will, their skill, now intimately known. And those their leaders of one mind to frame, vast strategies from which escape was none. And all their actions rise to future fame. Reunion, restoration, 
freedom deep and true. But could our striving wishes bring us back those who in youth, those golden hearts and heads who fell untimely by the cratered track, the vision would excel what now it sheds of blessing on this world. How shall we then but by their memory rule what lies before, and from their genius light such ways that men through such confusion never labour more? Thence shall the final victory, ever new, sing in the lives of all that live. We have come through. So a big shout out to the Imperial War Museum for releasing this lost, unwritten, unpublished poem by Edmund Blunden. So um, that's my offering for today. Have a good day, everyone. And... Uh, I look forward to catching up with you again tomorrow. Take care, everyone.